Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Anyways, before we get into the shave, you know I see DK, Johan, other guys um, popping up, having a nice cold beer. Sometimes their adult beverage is a little bit more adult than that. Um, I thought about bringing in a Budweiser. Um, my girlfriend picked me up a case. And, yeah, that's Budweiser, you know. Uh, only difference is between it and a regular, between them and a regular Budweiser is the cans are different colors, I guess, because of the holiday season. But anyways, so I pulled out something very, very special. And, um, you know, you, you just, you just don't see them every day or you just don't see this, this drink every day. And it is this, a bottle of water from Walmart, 35 bottles, $3 and change, excellent price, nice and cold out of the fridge, so that's a plus, so let's go ahead and crack this baby open and see how it tastes. Ah, really fresh, clean, watery scent, let's see how it tastes. Damn. That's good. Those hydrogen and oxygen atoms just really pop when you take a drink. It just, I mean, it just goes down smooth. You know, it's just absolutely wonderful. So anyways, oh yeah, I'm going to enjoy this tonight. <laughs> anyways, guys. Anyhow, um, I was thinking about doing a straight razor shave. The other night I did one, and after I edited it, it was like... 45 minute long video and I was like no I don't know if everybody wants to sit through and watch that but I mean I got a full three pass shave only place I busted out the DE was around here and up on my top lip for the across the grain and against the grain passes um but I mean I came out smooth no cuts nothing so if you want to go ahead if you guys want to see that video that's 45 minutes long. Well, let me know and I'll post it, uh, you know, the day after I post this one. Or I'll post it ASAP. Um, I will get in a three-pass straight razor shave probably in the next video. But I'm using, like you showed in a video, a razor that I've had for a couple of years now. I've never used it until now. And it's this, the Valet Auto Strop. I think this is a Type 2. I'm not sure. I can't remember which. It's kind of where you go ahead and you push this little lever up in the back. And that goes down like so. And then when you load the blade, just pop it up. It is loaded with a brand new fresh Feather AS um, FHS 10 single edge blade. Um, to my knowledge, that one you're not able to... Uh, modify a gym blade on because it's got a little post that sticks up have the brush soaking the brush is one moment screw it this one it is my second heritage shaving collection brush and it is a um, reproduction of the Ever Ready 200 Double Halo. It's got two little lines up here below the knot. I don't know if I'd call them halos, but that's what they called it. The knot is a 26 millimeter West Coast shaving three band badger knot. And I'm going to use a cream tonight. I'm going to use Arco cream. I got this in a piff box. Along with, um, uh, what is that, uh, palm olive shave cream as well. I just put a little bit across the top, might be too much, might not be enough, I'm not sure. Yeah, as I'm lathering, I'll tell you guys a funny story, I don't know if I've ever told this one before, but... When I got this piff box, I had the Palmolive, the Arco, 
in it. There was also, one moment, let me wet the face. There was also a can of Seal Bigelow cream. I'm like, I didn't know that, because uh, I know Seal Bigelow is just basically Parasso Green, just with the label Seal Bigelow. And I figured, cool, they're starting to go ahead and um, do the cream now. This is a really nice, oh, the knot is gel tip. I don't know if I mentioned that. But uh, it's got a nice scent. But anyways, so I go ahead and I'm like, oh cool, I'm going to use this and see how it goes. And it just kept running and running and running out of the knot, the soap, the, the cream. I'm like, what the heck is this? I mean, it gave me an okay shave. I'm like, what the heck, man? It ain't supposed to be. Shaving cream ain't supposed to do this. Well, it was mentholate, so that felt really good on the face. Anyways, I'll go ahead, get done with the shave, and uh, I asked my girlfriend, and I said, babe, what exactly does it say? Does it say Seal Bigelow Shaving Cream? And she's all, here, let me see it. And she looks and she goes, no, it says Seal Bigelow Body Wash. So I was like, oh no, I shaved my face with body wash. But, hey, if you ever get up get ready to do a shave and you see that you're out of cream or uh, soap or whatever which like that's gonna happen for a white shaver <laughs> um, and you got a tube of that seal big little body wash eh, go for it it works should have known because it was kind of thin compared to a uh, shaving cream that I've dealt with but I didn't know I just thought oh well, I guess the old big little cream or perhaps a shaving cream is kind of thin and then the next time it took a shower I used it it was wonderful because it was hot part of the year Anyway, so how are y'all doing? I hope y'all are staying, staying safe and not getting too warm and all that. Let's get the blade with it. Like I said, I've never ever used this razor before. You get a bit of blade fill. Because, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a decent amount of blade that sticks out. Oh yeah, it works good. I ended up... It, like I said, it's an open comb, so that's that's nice. Um, I ended up coming across the deal on Amazon, 60 blades for 45, so, and it came with a little one blade, what you call it, blade bank. So, I don't know if I spent too much, but cause I'm not familiar at all with these blades and the prices they go for. 
We've got about three days growth. Yeah. A couple of days after I posted my last video, I get a phone call from my stepmother. And um, she says, Lance? Or she left a message because I didn't recognize the number. So I'm just look, screw it, let go to voicemail. So I check the voicemails. If a number I don't recognize leaves a message. And my stepmom's all, Lance, something's wrong with your dad. It's like, oh no. Um, that he was in the hospital. And because my dad's got a heart condition, um, it was actually when my stepmom looked at the dates, it was actually 11 years to the day when he had this happen, um, since he had had his triple bypass surgery. So, they go ahead and of course they run all the tests and I called my dad at the hospital. Cause in the emergency room, she couldn't go in with him because of the COVID and all that. But anyways, his, and she said his speech was slurred. So she thought that maybe if it wasn't a heart attack, it could have been a stroke. And sure enough, my dad, he had that slur in his voice. I was like, oh no, this don't sound good. But, oh. Uh, got a little more. This shaping. They went ahead and they ran tests, and it turned out that he did have a very mild stroke. Um, he's having to take speech therapy, or he had to take, you know, he's going to do speech therapy because he still has a little slur in his voice, but fortunately, the, um, paralysis that a lot of stroke victims get isn't there or wasn't there on one in on either side just kind of a little bit of confusion and slurred speech well anyways so I start running tests on them of course and like I said they was like or you know other than the small stroke they checked his carotid arteries and um one carotid arteries pretty much 100 percent blocked and the other one was like 65 60 55 to 65 percent blocked so they went ahead and they said okay with all the blockage here because i guess it's a risky procedure stripping down so they uh, decided that they didn't want to do the surgery so they put them on some medications gonna my stepmom told my dad she saw I went out and bought a lot of vegetables you're gonna start eating better you old man so uh Diet, exercise. Anyways, guys, um, had to cut away real quick for the edit because I got a notification. My girlfriend's out of town, so um, I'm leaving my um, phone off airplane mode. One moment, guys. One, two, three. Voice over off. Okay. But anyways, so, you know, she told him, she said, you're going to start eating better, old man. So... Dad's like, okay. But 
pot scrub. But he's doing good, so I haven't talked to him in a day or two, so I gotta call him tomorrow. Sorry about that guys, had to rinse under the blade, it was starting to clog. Doing a pretty good job at mowing down. Just pretty much like a gym, just right at the cap. that fine is going to be looking for a new soap maker so um, So what that means for fine, I'm not quite exactly sure. I've got Fine American Blend Barbershop. And I've got Fine Orange Noir. Good soaps make a great lather, so I hope whoever they replace their soap maker with, I hope he or she makes soaps as good as what the last one did. God dang it, one of my girlfriend's long hairs. One of my on my shaving towel. You know, one thing about this brush, it doesn't have the backbone like a that other heritage brush does. That two band finest gel tip. But you know seems like two band finest seems like a little bit stiffer hair. But I like it. And it's my first three band brush. Still not as familiar with badger hair as far as the different grades of badger and all that stuff. One moment. Now, 
if I was told I could have a life supply, lifetime supply of blades, and if I chose this as my only razor, this little strop, the answer would definitely be a no. Even if they say it could be the only single edge you ever have anymore, I still have to say no. <laughs> Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a nice little shaver. Definitely worth picking one up if you're out and about and you see one at a good price. Paid 18 for this one, probably overpaid, but it made up for it because basically in the same box this was, was a 1970s Gillette Psychotech, which gave me a really rough shave after I got a replacement key and everything for it. I was like, tech? Uh, give me a rough shave? What the hell? And then I just put it away and got it there and shaved in as a display piece in here a couple of weeks ago. I pulled it out and I stuck a blade in it and also pulled out my 40s fat handle tech. And, um, stuck a blade in it. I had my girlfriend compare the two, and she saw that on both sides, the Safety bars are out of alignment. So, after she gets back, I'm going to have her go ahead and straighten the safety bar on them on both sides because my friend Christian out in Apple Valley, he, um, Got a 1940s style, 1951 super speed. And um, he said gave his stepdad looked at it because it was giving him real rough shaves. Which is not indicative of a super speed at all. Especially at 51. That 51 is a smooth shaven razor. So, girlfriend, took a pair of pliers, mine, needle noses, and just very gently adjusted the safety bar back into alignment. And now it gives my friend Christian outstanding shaves. So. Alright, so. Go down here. This Arco cream has some decent residual slickness. So, I'm happy with that. But anyways, oh, a little right there.
go. Oh, spot right there. All right. That is absolutely great. Let's see. Anyways, I'll go ahead and, you know what? Not the best shave. Yeah, not the best shaving razor, but you know what? It ain't bad. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off here, and I'll be back in a minute for the Allen. All right, yeah, pretty, pretty decent shave there. Like I said, the yellow strop isn't the greatest single edge I've ever used, but it ain't bad. Let's see what the out, eh, a little bit. Oh yeah, we're up there on the lip. I think my lip is still getting used to the shaving. It had the mustache on it for a bit. Anyways. There we go. Set that over my little sponge to... One moment, I'm going to cut away here. Had to cut away for a second. The body had to do what the body had to do. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah. Not a bad shave. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I'm going to cut away. Shave my head. See y'all back here for the post. Hey guys. Um, I want to mention earlier in the video... I'll link a video down here from Razor Emporium that Matt Pesosic just released today. Um, you straight razor aficionados, you guys would know it right off. But someone who's new to straight razor shaving, I guess there is a straight razor that's on the market. They say it's made of Damascus steel and it goes from like 50 to 100 bucks. And it has the really cool... Uh, pattern on it that Damascus still has but it's bullshit it's not Damascus steel in fact it's it is carbon steel but not good carbon steel it's not hardened it won't hold an edge for more than a shave or two so I'll link that video down here so if you are just getting into straight razor shaving or you are thinking about it go ahead watch that video because you know you might save yourself a headache and um matt pasarsi got it he bought one to see what all to see the quality of the razor and i mean it was supposed to be shave ready but it wasn't cutting through nothing none of his whiskers a gold dollar from razor emporium it just mowed through the whiskers um but this one no. And he went ahead and he took and he did a sound test where he like pinged the blade by the edge on the one that he's talking about. And uh, just a dead sound because it wasn't hardened. But when he did it to a, a blade that was hardened, then it went ahead and it made a nice little ping. So anyways, go ahead and watch that video. Anyways, so let's get into the post. You know what, I gotta take my words back about the auto straw. It shaves better than I thought. It's actually not bad. Not bad. Um, still got a little bit of issue down here. Um, trouble spot. But everywhere else, it's after a couple of minutes, the face, it just, it feels fine. It gave me more than a close enough shave. Um, it gave me one that I would have no problem with going ahead and slapping on some duds and going out on the town with my girlfriend after this shave so so the blade worked fine the arco cream not bad not bad at all and uh just all around a nice shave Um, let's go with the, no, nah, not Arcadia, Nivea, that's out. Let's go with some Gillette Aftershave Balm Gel, Aftershave Gel. Oops, a little too much. No, not quite too much. Oh, yeah.
Just a little bit right there, but I'm not sweating it. Had to cut away again. Body's making these sounds. Anyways, um, uh, if you guys want to see somebody doing that, then go ahead and watch Blazing Saddles. If you uh, aren't old enough to remember Blazing Saddles by Mel Brook, go on YouTube. In fact, hell with it. I'm going to link it down in the description, but if you have no idea what I'm talking about, go ahead and click on. I'll make it the second link. The Razor Emporium will be the first link. The Blazing Saddles will be the second link. And uh, it's it's absolutely hilarious. Cowboys eating beans around the campfire. I'll just put it that way. Anyhow. So that's the aftershave bomb. And for the aftershave itself. Skin Bracer by Menon. One of the first store bought aftershaves I got. And I absolutely love this stuff. Almost out of this bottle. I had my girlfriend pick me up. Ooh, got a little bit of a burn. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Very, very happy and satisfied with this shave. Anyways, guys, that's all. Thank you for joining me. If you're still watching, thank you for sticking it out with me. I really, really appreciate it. If you're new, if this is, um, if you've never watched any of my videos before, thank you for joining me. And if you like what you see, please go ahead and subscribe, likes, comments, subscriptions. Always appreciate it. If you need to reach me by email, my Gmail account or my Gmail information is in the about section. Anyways, y'all take it easy. Have a great night. Have a wonderful day, depending on what time the day or night you watch it. And take it easy. And I shall see all of you again on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.